My home, my heaven is a dream wished by everyone to going through their lives in this world their dream home. And for those who are still new to owning a house, they will definitely do the house renovation according to their tastes. A family may have a landed house or apartment, strata title but after some years, maybe the family member is getting bigger and the need to do house expansion are required as the area of the existing house is not comfortable anymore. But did you know that modifications without permission are not allowed by the local authorities? So, this video will explain the procedure of house renovation process in Malaysia. Do it right from the start. Is it our responsibility to maintain and repair the face of the house? Is there any restrictions in home renovations? Are we responsible for fire insurance? Sometimes, homeowners who want to make a modification of their home do not know the actual procedure to apply for a home renovation permit from the local authority. There are also homeowners who feel that the procedure prescribed by law is difficult and doing home renovations without a permit is considered normal without knowing the side effect. As a result of the survey that we have conducted, most homeowners have the intention to enlarge their house and some have also done the home renovation with and without permit from authority. And based on our survey, it was found that mostly the level of awareness of homeowners about the importance of obtaining a house renovation permit is still low. These are some homeowners' response, mentality. Firstly the prescribed procedure is said to be expensive and cumbersome. Then the cost will increase if following the procedure. Do not know the existence of this procedure because they think the house belongs to them and do not need to refer to the local authority. Seeing their neighbors do renovation without any problem even there is no permit obtained. Finally feel that the fines from authority are not too much and there is no enforcement from the local authorities. Well, here are some feedbacks of the interviews we have done. Uh, Puan, uh, boleh yeah. perkenalkan diri Puan? Uh, saya nama Lin. Okay. Nama saya Lin. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. Dan kemudian saya nak tanya Puan, uh, adakah Puan memiliki rumah? Uh, baru satu Baru satu lah, ya. rumah apartment ke rumah lain ke? Uh, rumah apartment Rumah apartment lah ya. uh, Puan ada pengalaman renovate rumah sebelum uh, ni? Sebelum ni uh, tak pernah Tak pernah lah? Ya Ada pandangan Puan, uh, kalau Puan in future nak, nak renovate rumah Adakah perlu untuk uh, satu individu tu memohon permit daripada uh, PBT ataupun daripada JMB apa semua? Uh, perlu Perlu lah? Perlu Okay Kenapa Puan rasa perlu? Uh, Perlu sebab uh, mengelakkan risiko Risiko bahaya lah lebih uh. kurang banyak Okay, pada pandangan Puan lah Kalau someone tu melakukan renovation tanpa permit Okay uh, Adakah itu salah ataupun tidak? Ada kesalahan besar ataupun kesalahan minor sahaja? Uh, kesalahan besar Kesalahan besar Ada sebab? Ada sebab boleh uh, Boleh meli, uh, beli apa eh? Mungkin bahaya lah Haa, boleh membahayakan untuk orang lain Okey, terima kasih Puan eh Okey, sama <laughs> uh, Tuan boleh perkenalkan diri Tuan? Uh, nama saya Arif uh, Saya daripada Seberang Perai Tengah lah Berapa tu, Jay? Uh, saya nak buat uh, interview sesi Sesi interview sikit lah Perkenaan dengan uh, rumah lah okay. uh, Tuan memiliki rumah? Uh, saya ada rumah Ya, yeah, uh, Rumah saya dekat seberang katanya lah Rumah bawah lah Rumah lendek lah buat Rumah lendek lah Okay adakah uh, buat masa sekarang ataupun dah uh, dah ada pengalaman uh, renovate rumah belum ni? Uh, saya, rumah saya dah pernah renovate dah Masa saya dapat tahu yang waktu tu uh, Jiran-jiran saya tengah dah renovate Saya pun follow renovate lah uh. uh, Adakah tuan uh, aware uh, yang setiap renovation perlu permohon uh, permit daripada PBT Oh perlu permit ke? Saya tak tahu ni sebenarnya kan Sebab saya tengok jiran-jiran saya tu renovate Saya pun follow renovate lah uh, Maknanya uh, tuan dan jiran-jiran tuan uh, renovate rumah tanpa permit lah Lebih kurang macam tu lah Oh kami tak tahu tuan Okey pada pandangan tuan uh, adakah renovate rumah tanpa permit uh, salah ataupun tidak? Saya rasa tak salah pun sebab dah lama saya renovate tu tak ada apa-apa lagi terakan ha. Okey baik tuan terima kasih banyak ha. Baik 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 okey okey. Ah puan boleh perkenalkan diri puan? Uh, saya Zira uh, bekerja di sebuah syarikat swasta sebagai seorang accountant. Okey puan, uh, saya nak tanya adakah puan memiliki rumah? Uh, ya saya ada rumah uh, di uh, Widin Town area. 
uh, rumah landed ataupun rumah apartment puan? Uh, saya di apartment. Okey, uh, adakah puan uh, pernah uh, berpengalaman renovate rumah ataupun teringin pada masa kata ingin untuk renovate rumah? Okey, rumah yang saya ada sekarang ni memang dah renovate uh, dalam dua tahun lepas. Dah okay. siap renovate lah, boleh renovation. Okey, adakah puan memohon uh, proper prosedur dalam kerja-kerja uh, renovate tu? Uh, untuk renovation, so far saya, saya tak... Tak tahu pula uh, kalau bila kita renovate, kita perlukan uh, permission daripada pihak perkosa. Oh, uh. per, uh, okay, baik. So, maknanya Puan uh, renovate rumah tanpa ada rujuk mana-mana uh, pihak perkosa ataupun JMB semua tak adalah. Uh, eh. Tak ada, memang kita sebelum saya masuk tu memang dah di, uh, memang saya ada buat proses renovation dan saya tak pasti pula ada ada prosedur yang kena-kena ikut lah. Oh, maknanya adakah Puan... Uh, Uh, aware tentang kewujudan akta serata kalau bagi puan yang duduk di rumah apartment lah uh, Kerja serata ni pun saya tak pasti sebab saya tak pernah dengar berkaitan serata ada akta yang kita perlu ikut lah Baik, dan uh. uh, saya nak tanya uh, adakah puan, pada pandangan puan adakah uh, salah sekiranya seseorang melakukan renovation tanpa permit daripada uh, pihak JMB ke pihak uh, local authority ke saya rasa uh, uh, rumah itu adalah hak, hak individu lah So uh, saya tak pasti sama ada memang dah ada atas untuk kita minta permission daripada pihak JMB Ataupun pihak pihak berkuasa yang terlibat lah Sebab kita sebagai owner rumah yang kita tak itu rumah kita Kita ada hak lah untuk renovate dan, dan kita tak perlu mohon kelulusan daripada pihak lain lah uh, Mungkin disebabkan macam saya sebagai individu mungkin benda tu saya tak didedahkan lah sebelum kita ada ada apa ada pembelian rumah dan sebagainya. Okey baik. Terima kasih puan. Terima okay, kasih sama. ya. Terima kasih. Okey mantap ya puan. Okey puan uh, boleh perkenalkan diri. Okey nama saya Sarah. Ah uh, macam cakap ni kan. Uh, saya merupakan seorang uh, kerani di Jabatan Perimetal Awam. Baik. Uh, puan memiliki rumah? Uh, ada. Uh, landed ataupun uh, apartment? Landed. Landed. Di kawasan mana tu Puan? Uh, kawasan Taman Kawasan Taman lah uh, Di kawasan Pening lah ya uh -huh. Okey uh, Adakah Puan teringin Untuk pada masa akan datang Ataupun telah Melaksanakan renovation Dekat rumah Puan? Buat uh, masa sekarang belum okay. Tapi in future uh, Mungkin kita ada perancangan lah uh, Berdasarkan pengetahuan Puan Adakah Puan tahu Prosedur yang, yang betul untuk uh, Membuat renovation rumah? Uh, prosedur untuk kita renovate rumah lah ha. uh, Tak banyak lah Sikit je lah Baik uh, Dan pada pandangan puan Apakah masalah yang dihadapi oleh Pemilik rumah ketika Ingin uh, membuat house renovation okay, uh, Pengetahuan yang saya tahu sikit je lah eh. uh, Kalau kita duduk rumah taman ni Kalau kita nak renovate rumah Sebenarnya kita kena minta permit lah Daripada majlis So isu-isu uh, yang selalu menjadi masalah ataupun berbanding kepada pemilik rumah ni uh, perlu mohon permit dan memerlukan kos lah kos untuk uh, renovate lah kita kena hire consultant and mendapat kelulusan lah so benda-benda tu sebenarnya sebenarnya uh, kos dia menyebabkan kos lagi tinggi lah untuk uh, pemilik rumah ok baik pada pandangan puan uh, adakah satu kesalahan uh, pemilik rumah membuat renovation tanpa uh, permit daripada uh, macam puan rumah landed uh, daripada local authority lah uh, sebenarnya uh, bagus juga kerana permit ni sebab kalau uh, macam kawasan saya kalau taman ni uh, pemilik rumah ni dia tak boleh renovate sesuka hati sekurang-kurangnya kalau ada permit uh, dia macam ada limit lagi lah tak melebihi kawasan dia dan tak mengganggu lalu lintas yang sedia ada lah uh, itu pandangan saya lah okay, lagi satu saya nak tanya kalau uh, kebiasaannya kalau puan melihat sekarang Ramai yang renovate rumah tanpa permit mm -hmm. uh, Apakah Punca-punca uh, lah uh, yang, Pandangan puan yang punca-punca Yang orang tak mohon permit uh, uh. Yang betul uh, untuk renovate rumah Okey, nombor satu, masa cakap tadi Kos, okay. kosti, dari segi kosti And then nombor dua, saya rasa uh, uh, Rumit Rumit lah uh, Proses tu rumit, setengah uh, Pemilik rumah maybe tak tahu lah Okey, itu saja puan Terima kasih okay. banyak Sama Tuan boleh perkenalkan diri? Nama saya Muhammad Fairuz. Okey, bekerja sebagai penjual insurans. Okey. 
saya nak tanya berkenaan dengan uh, uh, tentang pro, uh, proses uh, renovate rumah. Okay. Tuan memiliki rumah? Ya, yes, saya memiliki rumah. Landed ataupun uh, rumah apartment? Eh, apartment. Uh, tuan teringin ada perasaan untuk renovate rumah tuan? Ada juga lah perasaan uh, untuk renovate rumah. Dan adakah tuan tahu cara-cara uh, yang betul untuk renovate rumah? Tak berapa tahu saya lah. Normally tuan buat macam mana kalau kalau tuan pada masa akan datang untuk renovate rumah apa yang tuan akan lakukan? Yang kita tahu lah kan uh, kena minta persetujuan dari JMB lah. JMB JMB untuk apartment. Lepas tu kena uh, apa? apply lah untuk untuk ni lah apa yang untuk renovate. Lah. Pada pandangan tuan adakah satu kesalahan uh, renovate rumah tanpa kelulusan atau mendapatkan permit daripada salah. Biasa salah. The act involves in renovating the houses and how to make sure we had compliant the law accordingly before starting the renovation. Well, no worries let me help you to sort this out clearly regarding the acts that we shall understand before we start our renovations. And first thing first, in general, we will explain the related law and acts for people who want to do house renovation in Malaysia. The Roads, Drains and Buildings Act 1974 stipulates that by law, renovations must be approved.79. One stated that no person shall erect or direct or permit the erection in a building of any partition, compartment, gallery, roof attic, ceiling or other structure without the prior written permission of the local authority. But there are renovation works that do not require permits. Such as installing or replacing air conditioners, installing or repairing rain gutter pipes, exterior painting work, color and type of paint subject to local authority guidelines, replacing existing fences, installation or replacement of wall fittings such as floors and doors. Installation of awnings, subject to PBT guidance, installing grills that have been completed from the factory, wiring work for decorative landscaping purposes, CCTV and automatic gates. For renovation cases requiring permits such as renovation of existing walls and fences, renovating and repairing drains, installing or replacing plaster ceilings, installation or replacement of wall or floors exceeding 6.5 square meters, building houses of worship and constructing animal houses. The authority responsible for managing the application permit is according to the type of property. For those living on landed property, the local authority, PBT will issue a permit. And for those living in strata properties you need a letter of permission from your property management. Therefore, this training program is to educate and give awareness for those people that want to modify or renovate their house by using proper channel and procedure. In fact, home renovation works are subject to 1. Town and Planning Act, Act 172, this act applies when the homeowner makes changes to the overall house and requires the application to be table at the one-stop center, OSC meeting. 2. Roads, Drains and Buildings Act 1974, Act 133. 3. Uniform Building by Law 1984, UBBL. 4. Policies, Procedures and Guidelines Enforced by Local Authorities. By the way is there anything I have missed out? Apparently yes, we shall always make sure that we know the correct procedure for housing development. Yes, but how many type of housing development are there? Is it the same procedure for all type of housing development? There are two type of housing development can be found, first would be the landed property and followed by strata development. Each consist of different type of procedure accordingly. Well let me explain with some situation so that it would give a clearer picture of it. Procedure for landed housing, individual title. After have some knowledge and understanding of the relevant acts and laws, in this section, we will explain the procedure for homeowners to apply for a permit from a local authority. If they want to do house renovation. Based on the responses received from our survey, people want us to explain the correct procedure to ensure that everyone understands the right procedure to apply for a house renovation permit. As per explained in the introduction before, the authority responsible for managing the application permit is according to the type of property which are landed property, individual title and strata properties. For individual title, here are the procedures to apply permit for house renovation. Before want to apply permit, a person needs to study and get information from the local authority, for example MBPP Building Control Department counter. There are four types of application categories. 1. Changing building finishing materials without due changes to the structure. So, what is the action need to do by homeowner? 
actions that need to be taken by homeowners are 1. Obtain the application form from the Building Control Department counter. 2. Complete the application form and supporting documents application letter such as home grant and pictures of existing houses. 3. To some payments such as, process fees, security deposit, permit to place building materials, renovation permission sticker. 4. Normally the applications are processed and approved on a temporary permit within two hours. Wow, so easy. 2. Minor additions to existing terrace houses without changing the existing structure. Actions that need to be taken by homeowners are. 1. Submit an equivalent plan that can be purchased at the building control department counter. Cost equals RM200 and depend on local authority. The arrangements need to be made by the homeowner. 2. Complete the equivalent plan and the application supporting document form such as home grant and photo of existing house. 3. Submit the application at the building control department counter and make some payment, processing fees, security deposit, permit to place building materials and renovation permission sticker. 4. Applications are processed and will be approved within two hours. Wow easy PC! 3. Modified and house extension of terrace houses that involving additions and alterations to existing structures. Actions that need to be taken by homeowners are. 1. Appoint a consultant, principal submitting person equals PSP to prepare a plan and make an application to the local council. The consultant must come from professional background such as architect and engineer that registered with related board. 2. Get the application form from the counter. Do by PSP. 3. The consultant will provide the plan, complete all the application forms and documents such as consultant registration certificate, form A, standard form by local council, house grant and photo of the existing house. 4. Submit the application and make some payments such as, plan processing fees, deposits, renovation permission stickers, building material placement permit. 5. Applications are processed and approved at the departmental level within 14 days. Wow, easy, safe. Guaranteed by professional. 4. Demolish the entire building or some part, more than 50% of the existing house and then rebuild the house. This process is quite different and details to ensure the safety of the house structure. All the process are through the appointed consultant, PSP by the homeowner to make an application to the council. Here is the process of procedure. 1. PSP need to get the application form from the counter of local council. 2. The consultant needs to submit the application forms and the supporting documents such as, planning permission approval, which this need to be approved in OSC meeting that chair by mayor, house grant, existing building plan, public protection insurance, method of statement, building survey report and dilapidation report. 3. Submit the application at the counter. 4. Applications are processed and approved at the departmental level within 14 days. 5. After the renovation work is completed, authority will make inspection. PSP will give Certificate Completion and Compliance, CCC. 6. The homeowner can get back their deposit. Reminder. 1. Renovation work can only be done after the building plan is approved. 2. Homeowner need to appoint the contractor that registered with CIDB. 3. Damage to the neighboring property due to the renovation work is the responsibility of the homeowner. 4. Construction waste shall be disposed of through a disposal contractor appointed by the council. 5. Traffic management plan, TMP such as plastic barriers or other suitable material shall be installed at site so as not to cause disturbance. 6. Working hours Monday to Saturday 8 o'clock a.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Sundays and public holidays are not allowed to carry out the construction works. Warning, consequences. Constructions that done difference from the approved plan without obtaining prior written permission is an offense and will incur a fine not exceeding RM 50 Procedure for apartment condominium housing, strata title. Then, for strata title, the homeowner that want to do house renovation need to get permission from their property management. In a situation, so, you finally bought your first house a condo unit in a city. You have so many plans on how you want to furnish, paint and revamp it according to your taste. You've decided to extend the kitchen slightly and add another bathroom in the unit. Now this would require some extensive renovations. 
And so, you get started immediately. Halfway through the renovation works, you get a notice from the condo management, asking you to stop all renovation works at once and pay a hefty fine of RM10000. Shocked and angry, you contact the condo management and they tell you that you have violated the renovation guidelines set by them. So, next we are going to talk about whether you can do renovation works in a condo unit in Malaysia or not. But before we look into the laws, let's briefly take a look at who has the authority on condos or any other strata property in Malaysia. If you live in an apartment, condo, flat or gated community you're said to be living in a strata property. Under the Strata Management Act 2013, SMA 2013, there are three types of management bodies that are responsible for maintaining your condo. The first kind of management body is the Joint Management Body, JMB. The JMB is a collaboration between the developer and the owners of the strata property. JMBs have to ensure that the apartment, or land if it is gated and guarded and its common property is properly managed by keeping it in good repair. The JMB is also supposed to determine how much the maintenance charges and sinking funds would be and then collect it from you and the other owners. These duties are contained in Section 21 of the SMA 2013. The second type is the Management Corporation, MC. The MC has similar duties and powers but is only formed once you have received the title to your property. The Management Corporation is comprised only of owners to the property, without the part of the developer anymore. The third is known as the Sub-Management Corporation. The Sub-MC comes into play when there is a need for separate management. An example of when there is separate management is when there are both commercial and residential properties or when there are limited common properties. The sub-MC, subject to any restrictions from the MC, has the same duties and powers as the MC. The management bodies are legally allowed to carry out their duties when it comes to maintaining the property. Section 21, 1 of the Strata Management Act 2013 states the management's responsibilities. Here's one of it. A. To properly maintain and manage the building or land intended for subdivision into parcels and the common property, and keep it in a state of good and serviceable repair. So, it's pretty much the law that allows the management body to carry out their duties, and ensure the owner of the property does not violate the law set under the Act. Then, a renovation works allowed in strata properties. As we mentioned earlier, strata properties have management bodies that handle and take care of the property. So, if you do plan on doing renovation work in your condo unit, you'll have to get a letter of authorization from your property management first. The management has the right to reject your application if it doesn't meet the guideline set. The rules are rather subjective as it depends on what kind of regulations your management has set. In most places, you'll have to pay a deposit to the management which will then be refunded after the renovation so long as no part of the property was damaged in the process. Now there are also certain things the owner can't do which are stated in the law. Part 7 of the third schedule of strata management, maintenance and management regulations 2015 put down the restrictions for renovation works and we've listed some of them here. One unless prior approval in writing has been obtained from the appropriate authority and the management corporation, a proprietor shall not. A construct another floor level to his parcel, e.g. to split the level of any portion of the existing floor in the parcel by adding platforms. B. Relocate any external door or window of his parcel. C. Remove or make changes to any building safety feature in his parcel and notwithstanding such approvals, the proprietor shall indemnify and keep indemnify the management corporation against any liability which may be incurred of suffered as a result of such removal. D. Shift any plumbing and sewerage system in a parcel. E. Change or upgrade the whole electrical system in a parcel, or F. Illegally connect or tap electricity supply. So, the owner, proprietor must first get permission from the management body, and comply with the rules set by the management when renovating a condo apartment. The restrictions listed above should also be read through before starting any renovation work. Warning, Consequences Assuming you've already started renovating your condo unit before get management's permission, and the condo management has now sent you a letter asking you to pay a fine take note that it is legal for them to do so. Section 7 under the 2015 regulations gives the management body powers to do so. 
the management corporation may by a resolution at a general meeting impose a fine of such amount as shall be determined by the general meeting against any person who is in breach of any of these by laws or any additional by laws made under the act. So, the management body can fine you for renovating without a permit, and the money from the fine must be deposited into the maintenance account of your condo apartment. We also have to highlight something, not all home renovations actually require a permit. It depends on what type of property you own and how much you want to renovate it. Consequences and Conclusion As a conclusion, the procedure for applying for a home renovation permit is easy if we all understand the acts and the guidelines that have been set. Everyone should pay attention to this training program to ensure that we all do not make mistakes in renovating the house in the future. We have to remember, if we continue to make renovations without a permit, the local authority reserves the right to demolish it. Unfortunately, all the charges and costs of demolishing the building are under our responsibility. For those living in strata residences, fines will be imposed by the property management. Here you a short advice from Mr. Go from JKR. Saya Goh Ferry daripada JKR uh, Pulau Pinang Ok, uh, tahukah anda uh, menurut Akta 133 Jalan Parit dan Bangunan 1974 uh, Semua uh, pemilik uh, tanah perlulah mendapatkan permit uh, sebelum menjalankan kerja-kerja uh, renovasi uh, Sekiranya uh, tidak mendapat permit daripada pihak berkuasa tem tempatan uh, Tindakan boleh diambil selaras dengan if you want a beautiful house, you must follow the law. Do study beforehand if you wish to avoid future losses. Do it right from the start. Thanks.